Listen to my Ethan Stephen. Lit cigarette in a puddle of gasoline will not start the gasoline? No, not at all. Really? It has to does have it an the, igni- Does it put it out? Ignite it. it has to have a spark. But isn't it that like... It out like if it was water. Huh. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm re- I am actually going to test this because I, I'm Science. Well, speaking of burning because shit, because one of my it's favorite. not actually the the <laughs> liquid that ignites; it's the fumes. Yeah, so I never even thought about that—that that it needs like an actual spark to it. That's All right, and episode thirteen resumes. Oh, we're back. We, <laughs> we sure are. <laughs> uh, so, to catch our listeners up, we were discussing recent industrial tragedies involving fire and fireworks factories, and Rob had an interesting scientific fun fact that if you drop a lit cigarette into a puddle of gasoline, the gasoline will not ignite. Is that correct, Rob? Yes. All right. And the explanation because behind the, it? the liquid itself is not what catches on fire. It's actually the fumes that come off of the gasoline, and it, it needs a spark of some kind to ignite. So just having a lit cigarette near it or in it would not start a fire. You would actually have to have a catalyst of some sort to make it begin interesting Super interesting so bill and i are going to the gas station to smoke that's exactly right you'll probably Ex- still get yelled at by everybody <laughs> well, it's illegal it's illegal as shit yeah isn't it a felony on the like, on the platform it's a felony yeah. yeah that'd be a fun you know how they have those like random pranks on like you know the it clown popping out of the sidewalk it'd be fun like, like a you, fake cigarette yeah a fake cigarette and just throw it right next to someone at the gas station and see how they freak out <laughs> <laughs> that would be good i that would be interesting to watch. I don't know if I'd participate, but I feel like, like someone gets knocked the fuck out in one of these. <laughs> Sounds like a gas to I me. Don't know about oh. that. I think everyone would just try to try to run away. I don't know if they'd go after you. Yeah, they probably wouldn't It'd be do more anything. Of like a duck and run instead of a yeah, maybe like the like the uh, what is it the jihad backpack thing? You ever seen any of those? No. no. Where these guys, I can't remember where they oh, did yeah. this. Yeah. I think it was in. Up, I think like it was in the UK. Walk by and they just like set the backpack down and, and then run. run. Quick, and, and everyone else around it like takes off. Yeah, freaks the fuck out. My favorite one is the uh, is the is the red dot the sniper one. Have you seen that? Yeah. So there are like people sitting at a bus stop, and someone will, will flash like a uh, a laser pointer on them, the red light, yeah. and they'll like put it on their chest, and then the dude will just fall, like collapse, and then the red light will move over to the like <laughs> unsuspecting person, and uh, people freak the fuck out. It's hilarious. That one's my favorite. You know what I when um Adela uh Bill's old girlfriend she I like she I don't know where she got it she gave me an old megaphone, and um. We had a ba- we had a ba- we like my mom lived on a main street and she had a balcony and I would just uh, always flick the whoop whoop yeah and fucking traffic we, we we would like get drunk and compete with how much traffic we can make Jesus <laughs> 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 just one car pulling over the other <laughs> oh that's pretty funny you're all bullies you're all terrible people yeah these pranks sound harmful. Well, go walk me. into a wall, Bill. <laughs> I will. Don't worry, I'll get blamed for it. <laughs> right? I have no choice in the matter. It'll happen. So speaking <laughs> of great, you know, you could have listened. Mine, great hobbies of mine in setting shit on fire. I remember when I when I was in grammar school and they first handed out hand sanitizers like to everyone where they're giving them, that shit is so, like somebody told me this and I didn't believe it. Where you could draw like a smiley face on your desk, yeah, like gel on fire, <laughs> yeah, and it wouldn't burn the desk. It would yeah. only burn, yeah. Wait, you were just starting fires at school? Yeah, yeah, why not? Sure. Didn't everybody do that? Yeah, I was going to say, I've done that. Weird. Or like when you light the the lint on your sock and then it smells like yeah. ass. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> but like the sock, like only that one layer burns real quick <laughs> away and then it's okay. Huh. We're just learning so much here. I watched a man light uh, bootleg moonshine on fire on a bar top at Sully's. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I also had oh, some of that moonshine, and yeah, I'm there all the time. Really, one of my favorite bars. My uh, my friend Steve lives literally a block away from Steve uh, Cameroon. I don't know if I know Steve Cameroon. Punk guy. He's always got crazy poofed up hair, charged hair. I'm sure I've met him. I used I used to be a regular there for years and years. I know a lot of people that go there. Uh, you familiar with uh, Jake Eagland or Darren Blackwell, I, I Mickey know, Russell? I know. Jake, I know the name. I know I've met Bald him before. Bald dude? Bald dude with glasses? I'm not like... 
not friend, you know. It's one of those I've met in passing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they're over there all the time. I my uh, my parents' house is like three blocks from there, so that's where I grew up. Not in Sully's, but <laughs> I watched a guy light a cigarette backwards. And tell him that's the American way. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud to be the American. Uh, well, at least we know he's free. That he sure is. Well, that that was great. I think I think we did mention this when we lit that fucking fire at John's house. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was fucking so great. Because oh my god, I like like dude. I, I like not. Can I get a little context? What? What? What, what fire? What, what, oh well. So John lives right on the border. Uh, uh, for Rob, uh, John was uh, say nothing, and he um we he lives on the border of Wisconsin, and he like had this deal with his land like his house. I mean, I hate to be an asshole. It's it's like the size of this room, and then his yard is like the size of a football field. So his owner was like, you know, it, I'll lower the rent if you clean up the yard. So he'd like have this fucking pile like half the size of this room of sticks, and then he'd have a fire once in a while. Well, I I told Bill I'm like we should go visit him. But it was on a day that it like rained, so I'm like, dude, we're fucking having a fire because I got like drunk and pissed <laughs> off. Like, we're having a fire no matter what, so we drank like all these beers and, and then, limoncello. Yeah, and then and then we go. Um, the gas station is like so. He lives a block to the right of the exit, and the gas station is a block to the left of the exit. So we go to the gas station while we're drunk. And I'm trying to fill up these beer bottles with gas. Oh my god! <laughs> like There's no the way window. that's legal. <laughs> and then I have to like balance them in in the back in his back seat. Oh, you know? this like, is so. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a horrible idea. And so and like he I, lets you do that in his car. <laughs> yeah. And the 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 worst smoking like, all the while. Oh my no god! No fire. Like I and, and I don't know if it was because I'm drunk or just like so fiending for a fire but i completely forgot like i didn't know where you were standing bill and and like it was super dark so i didn't know if you could like at least slightly see where mm. the fire is so i just keep pouring gas and keep flicking match i'm like motherfucker and then i like scream down like if this doesn't fucking boom <laughs> 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 like, yeah. and, like i'm right and i'm my hands in the fire and Bill's like five feet away, and even Bill, like that was the best beard trim we ever had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so fire is fun. Yep. Can we talk about Milwaukee? Do you want to talk yeah, about Milwaukee? Let's Do you talk think about it's Milwaukee? Uh, last Saturday, the day after, you know, we were running into walls and running into Ross at the brewery. <laughs> well, I don't know which is worse. <laughs> Both enjoyable. Uh, Sandra and I headed up north to Milwaukee to catch a Milwaukee Brewers game, and they got destroyed. They they yeah. got stomped. It was what nine to one. Yep, nine to one was the final score, and it was funny because on the second inning or maybe it was the third inning, this guy comes up to bat, and everyone starts in the crowd going moose, moose, and I'm like, what the fuck are they booing? Is that a thing that they're just booing him? What did he do? And Zach explained that it's not booing. They're saying Moose because his name is what Musinski. I can't remember. It's not Moose. Like, Moose is his nickname. Yeah. So. so everyone calls him Moose. And again, in now in like the eighth inning, ninth inning, when it is nine to one, everyone's like shouting Moose again. And I say, are they are they still shouting Moose? And Sandra's like, no, <laughs> no, no, they're booing. No, they're booing <laughs> they are now. <laughs> Moose. <laughs> they, Moose. That, that crowd turned on the Brewers so quickly. It was amazing. Yeah. It, well, it don't was they in, always suck though? No, the Brewers so. are actually like pretty, oh, they are? pretty fucking good. Um, not that night they weren't. Oh my god, my brother actually told me that I'm banned from games because every time I go to one, that they fucking lose. <laughs> um, <laughs> that meanwhile, so we got free seats and Sandy just in there like. You know, oh, oh yeah, that's these fucking seeds. That's like, right. So we pissed off this one dude sitting one row in front of us and about five seats over because my brother's girlfriend is there as well. And she and was with her friend who is married to a producer for Fox Sports. Yeah, who's there. And then my brother works for is a video scout for the Brewers, mm -hmm. which is how we get the seats. And they're like. Really nice seats. We're, we're behind the plate, third base side, like 20 rows back. Like amazing fucking seats. 
And yeah. they're just sitting there talking about like about how much we don't really care or follow <laughs> baseball, and and that I would probably never come to a game if I had to pay for it. <laughs> and this dude is so like he just keeps looking over at us, giving you know like the angry dad stare. Yeah. Like that was what I was getting <laughs> from this guy. Like so <laughs> fucking like he's like. Like, if I were younger, I'd beat your ass sort of fucking deal. Like, so pissed off. And we're sitting, and I'm sitting there, like, half aware of that what I'm saying is just makes me look like a piece of shit. Bougie, but, I think. Yeah, bougie said. was the word, yeah. That I'm just sitting here going, oh, I don't pay for these tickets. I barely <laughs> care. Let's get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> mm. and, and, of course, Jacqueline was... Jacqueline had drank a lot of wine before and during the game, and we weren't sober either. <laughs> that, no, certainly not. Uh, I was still recovering from the night before. Uh, yeah, uh, just the past week has been a blur of of booze and debauchery. Yes. So, go to the game. Awesome time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Nine to one slaughter, but that's cool. We go to a bar called Drink Wisconsinably, and <laughs> I think that one gentleman at the bar really defined what drinking Wisconsinably means when he fell in between the ramp and the stairs outside. He did. Oh, <laughs> yes, he did. God, I think he couldn't make a decision as to which one to take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. He, he hit the median. Yeah. Dude, I, and then he got in his car. And then <laughs> Yeah, drove. Oh, my God, there was this birthday party there, and they were so obnoxious. Was it, was yeah, but there was that like one. The, the Brown's one chicken girl. logo? <laughs> no, <laughs> no not, spread? not quite, but... <laughs> Uh, uh, and then we went to what was it? The Black Blackbird Bird dive. I fell in love with an Uber driver. He he did fall in love with an Uber driver, and Bill can get away with anything. And he was flirting with this girl. Was first off very receptive. You should have. You should have. I gone invited for her. You, you invited her, and she podcast. and she considered. That's the thing that kind of got me about it. Is like, I could see her going like, maybe. So. And, Here's the uncomfortable position I'm in right now. Like, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Emily, the beautiful Uber driver from Dixon, Illinois. And if you're listening, like, you know, like wow, me on you Facebook, remembered those details. I was so hammered at that <laughs> point. <laughs> so, well, the thing is, like, I'm, you know, doing the shout out, like, Emily, I she's miss you. One. I love you. Yeah, she's the one. But also, if she's listening to this, she's not going to want to have anything to do with me because she'll be like, oh my God, this guy's pretty I awful. I hope she's listening <laughs> to this. That means we're doing well. <laughs> right? she, yeah. Somehow she is. Uh, I don't think we talked about the podcast. should have given car. her a business card. <laughs> Bill, there just, you go. That's why you have them. Just <sighs> look at your phone, man. ETA. Five you know what? Minutes, you, Uber friend. You've given me a business card on like five separate occasions, but I've never seen you hand one out to someone that you don't know. <laughs> that what, the, what, what did card? The business card. Oh, the business, yeah. For the Dude, podcast. That, that's what I'm going to do at Taste of Polonia the whole time. You get, you just get hand free them out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pierogies. Update on EJ pierogies and, and auto shop. <laughs> um, so, apparently EJ is out of the business because their new sign has EJ's spray painted blacked out and has for weeks so it wasn't graffiti <laughs> so and pierogies. that was it just says pierogies <laughs> now ej's is gone from the sign and this there's no way that that didn't end with bad blood because they just like roughly spray painted it out they didn't get a new sign they didn't even take the time to make it the same color it's black <laughs> fucking spray paint over the name ej they were doing that as they were kicking this motherfucker out the door like look at this fuck you ej you're gone now yeah, grab the Which letter grab the can now oh my god i saw that i started dying <laughs> grab the expired ones and throw it at them right yeah, yeah. i also got my brakes completely uh, redone there they work now so did you get some pierogies? Uh, I didn't. I I was a little disappointed. I should have. Re- is this place that your brakes done and pierogies? That's yeah. right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've it, never heard it, of EJ pierogies? It, it, it <laughs> drove it drove Zach nuts that it's built right c- touching each other. <laughs> like it is. A There's a with an oil it, change. It's attached to. First off, this isn't like a strip mall. It's a standalone building. This is the only thing on this lot. It's a Tarantino is movie. It, <laughs> well, it's, uh, I feel like it just makes it way better. Oh, it's a, their service yeah. is really good. Yeah, so it's an auto By body shop work. slash Polish restaurant. <laughs> EJ pierogies. Yeah, they have Polish good reviews. Food. I mean, that's, that's pretty innovative. Like exactly, I'd go there. it's supposed to be really good. 
Except for except for the rating that was obviously done by another Polish restaurant. <laughs> or EJ. Maybe EJ was yeah, spiteful. Maybe, EJ, maybe EJ's all pissed Jeez, off. They took his name off it. That shit is so weird when people who get fired go nuts at the, like, the work. Well, obviously with this fucking guy smoking weed with the students. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. But, but no, when, when, I worked at a, when I worked at a library in Norwich, um, they, there was a head of security guy, and he, and he used to, like, always... He just used to always pull shit there, fuck with people. This guy was like 50, and he would like be, you know, like when he knew he was in trouble, he's like, all right, we can fuck around. Oh, no, he's on his way. He's walking through that room to this room. And he would like purposely, like if, they, if they'd if be in the middle of like a card game or something, he would want to throw them down just at the moment when somebody's opening the door so that he looks like he's trying to cover up, but they see it just to fuck with them. Do you get what I'm saying? No. <laughs> like, like okay, so like, so like, if you're my supervisor, right, and you don't want to catch me fucking around or like texting on the job, right? Yeah. And then I'm watching you on a because he was security for the library. Oh, so he could see it. Yeah. So he would watch time, right? right when you come in, so that you do catch me, but you don't really catch me. So, th- so you know that I'm not working, but you don't got any evidence because I'm in charge of camera, you know. Yeah. So when he fucking when he he got fired. He like had like all these leaks into the library, constantly setting fucking threats about like, oh, geez. I see you, I'm watching you right now. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking terrifying. Because he worked there for like 20 years. I got fired there for a really fucked up reason. I don't know if I told you this about the about the marine guy and about me releasing confidential information. Did, no. did I mention this what? before, Bill? No. I don't. I've, I know the story. I don't know if you've told it on the podcast. Okay. Well, I, had, I have not heard well, the story. Well, lo- long story short, like, don't work at a fucking library. I did <laughs> actually. I love that job. I used well, to sleep in the stacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. No shit. I w- I would shelve books. This was in high school. And when I was tired, I would go up to the hundreds uh, and biographies section. Because uh, no one ever fucking went there, sure. and I would sleep at the end of one of the stacks. <laughs> Did anyone ever like wake you up like, hey? Uh, my girlfriend at the time did once. Uh, also, I was banned from the children's section. <laughs> Long story. <laughs> oh, we want to hear about that. Uh, her and I fooled around in in the stacks of the children's section, and got busted doing it. <laughs> and then, oh no! Now you didn't have to register as a sex offender, right? <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't arrested, and like, there was no nudity involved, but we were definitely fucking around. <laughs> so what was the fucked up reason you got fired no, no, so for? okay so when i worked there um i okay i uh i went to this um it's hard to, so i got this job through uh I, i'm cool with the president there he's like this old dude who used to be he, he's he's good friends with stan lee and he draws really? his own comics and he's a really cool old dude. He we we became friends because I took this accelerated college program, mm-hmm. which was basically like you know every everybody drops out junior year because they get fucking nuts with all this shit. Yeah, and they take a year off and then they never come back. So they had this program where like basically you have a final each Friday, and you have homework like three fucking papers to do each day. So a semester is compressed into like one month instead of like. Oh, that sounds year. fucking horrible. It, it was it was pretty nuts, but uh, but you know what the funniest part was that that um, I'm really good at writing papers. So I, I actually had like like a, a lot of like I had like three Spanish ladies who couldn't speak English, and I would write their papers. And all I did was get a thesaurus out and just copy <laughs> copy paper your paper with, with different words. words. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I'm um, sure no one caught on to that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, what's called um. So yeah, I worked at this library and like, dude, I did not fit in at all because I I have a v- super fucking strong ethic. I'm working sixty hours a week now, so when I'd work there, I mean, I'd get my shit done right away and like listen to my iPod. You know, I'd be like, oh, you got all these books to check in that you're supposed to take six hours to do or something. Yeah, and I'd get it done in one hour. No, that's exactly that's why I would sleep in the stacks. <laughs> that's yeah, exa- yeah, that's exactly how that worked. Or fool out. around in the children's or section. Fool around in the children's. That was yeah. uh, uh, in my defense, I wasn't on the clock for that. She was, <laughs> but I was. I caught you. <laughs> but I was banned though. No, but so so um before I took the college class, I had a welding class that a uh, what yeah I took a welding certificate class where it teaches you every type of welding, and there was a PTSD marine that I took it with. Mm-hmm. and he was super tweakish he was the kind of guy he had such bad anxiety he'd be like like if i was having a concert hey zach how's it going wait why aren't you answering why, why are you twirling that pen are you, are you thinking about me what's wrong wait <laughs> come on dude, dude are we still friends and he's like start breaking down like he was so incredibly tweakish and 
I took the class. I, 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 I didn't know that he lived in Norwich and went to that library. And he would come once in a while and talk to everybody. So I got pr- I get promoted and we have a meeting and they're like, does anybody know about this fucking guy? Like that's the, that's the end of the meeting. We talk about like, all right, this is how we're gonna, you know, reformat this software and this is how we're gonna we're gonna move this section to this section. Anybody know about this fucking weird guy who comes in and <laughs> tweaks out? Is he gonna shoot up the place or something? And I was like. I wasn't offended, but everybody there was constantly reporting me for being offended by me. So I'm like, you know what? That's fucked up because I know that guy. He's a Marine and he's got like some issues. I don't think we should end a meeting like that. And ever since then, nobody talked to him. So now Aww. he started coming in. Be like, dude, nobody's talking to me. What's wrong? Oh, which, uh, which probably only made it fucking worse, yeah. right? Uh-huh. And, and I was like so pissed off that I told him the story about how like, oh, they think you're going to shoot up the place. So they took me <laughs> to the fucking like... You, you know, like one on one with the boss. Yeah, I was gonna call it interrogation room, <laughs> <laughs> but that was a different kind <laughs> of library, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the prison library. You know, Doctor Zeus. You know, we're going back to that original theme we were talking <laughs> about earlier. <laughs> the <laughs> torture room. Yeah, the torture room. <laughs> Anyways, they t- they fired me for releasing confidential information. That's releasing con- That's confidential to be talking shit about someone shooting up the place. I feel like that's so. a flimsy reasoning yeah well they're probably looking to make cuts anyway if they fired the security guard who had been there for 20 years oh they they definitely wanted to fire me <laughs> they, they definitely wanted to fire me but why'd they fire the security guard i i think it was just because just because he was sleeping and doing whatever the fuck he wants like, like oh they, they they finally caught him <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well i mean he had like four people uh underneath him like the guys who actually like browse the library and check like yeah you know maintenance and shit and he would just sit in the room and do nothing I think he, I don't I, I I don't really remember to be honest, but yeah I I would not want to work there again. Huh. But uh, my experience was great. I I had fun in the library. It sounds did like you, it. Did you <laughs> <laughs> Define fun. All right. Yeah. So that happened a few times. Not in only once in a children's section. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time it was upstairs in it, the in the hundreds or the seven hundreds. Always by the Bibles, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, there are no kids up there. Well, I mean, we're not fucking in the. We weren't like <laughs> fucking in the in the public. Yeah. Se- I'm not a big public sex guy, but Can we hey, if she's gonna come up there, and we're gonna, we're gonna fuck around. Like I'm open to it. Sure. Right when you're not sleeping. <laughs> when I'm not. But yeah, when, as long as she doesn't wake me from my nap. Right. <laughs> All right, honey, can we do this position? Yes. Yes. Do we decimal point five hundred? I did really. There, six. there was a pri- there's a room back there, a storage room that I really wanted to fuck her in there. I really, really did. <laughs> <laughs> I we why? never we never got. It. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I'm not. I don't like public sex. Like I don't get a rush off of it. But for some reason, I always wanted to fuck in that room. They stored all the old uh, Time magazines going back to like, <laughs> <laughs> and like uh, old Wheaton newspapers in that room. So you wanted to be a you part of history. To do <laughs> <the> time <laughs> machine. <laughs> God. Just yeah, essentially. It's I, tasteful. Uh, <laughs> speaking of a baseball game, um, uh, my fiance won tickets to. So it, it's funny because the more podcasts I listen to, there's like at least six comedians that I've heard mention how much they fucking hate Zanies in Schaumburg. So they're like, it's not Chicago. It's fucking 20 minutes away. Or, or no, it's an hour away. It's 20 miles away. What the fuck? I've so, actually heard a lot of comedians bitch about Zanies. Yeah. yeah. But just in general or just just in, uh, just in general, not specifically that one. Because there's one in, uh, what is that? The Old city, Town? yeah. But I've definitely heard I've no, definitely they, heard comedians talk about how much they hate fucking Zanies. No, they they specifically mentioned like Schaumburg because it's really? so fucking far out. Yeah, and the thing that I think is funny, I didn't know, I didn't know until I went on a bike ride. Uh, there's a huge baseball stadium, like right, like like maybe a mile away. Yeah, the away. Flyers, right? The Boomers. Oh, the Boomers. Oh, that's right. That's right. The I always thought that was funny. The Schaumburg Boomers. Yeah. I, um, I don't think any more. There was some sort of mushrooms reference in one of their at, at one point in one of their logos. <laughs> That's I, pretty funny. I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> well, we we went, dude, and like the way you were talking about how like oh these are free tickets. I don't give a fuck about this game. We yeah. took Gavin and his friend, and like the whole time they're like trying to race around the rows because nobody is at this fucking game. <laughs> yeah, but, they don't have a the, following. And, they're and, a minor and, league team. <laughs> Gavin goes up to me. He's like, "Wow, it's right. You're right. All baseball fans are super obese." <laughs> like, <laughs> <look at us. laughs> And um and and the funny thing is like um in outfield 
you know how like the, the scoreboard is usually in the middle. Yeah. And there's like left outfield or right up in the left. There's actually like three huge inflatable fun houses because of how boring fucking kids, bored kids get at these games. <laughs> there's a uh, at at Milwaukee at uh, Miller Park. I don't know how. I think. I think they make their mascot go down it. Like there's a giant like four story like slide in in left field, and I don't I don't rem- there's something to do with their mascot. Like they throw gotta, it down it or some the, shit. You gotta I sing the whole anthem while you're going. Oh, is that you say? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Did they do so so many songs? And we saw uh, Sisters of Harmony. Sisters of Harmony. Big shout out to Sisters of That's Harmony. Right. They're We're fucking rock stars. Yeah, and, and they Sister killed it. Mercy. No, I think. They're a, like a spinoff band or super group. Yeah, super group out of uh, rural Wisconsin. Yeah. And uh, that sounds super to me. Uh, dude, they rock. They rock their uh, church chorus. But so the mascot is this dude with red hair, red beard in like lederhosen. And his name is Bernie Brewer. And the story goes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, before you do the story, we heard this from Jacqueline, my brother's girlfriend, drunk as hell off of red wine. And I could not confirm any of this story. I looked it up and I saw that there are articles, but I didn't care to read any of them because I'm not that interested. But it is kind of an it's not really that interesting, but I'm going to share it. Anyway. I think it's kind of interesting. So back in the 60s, I think Brewers fandom was at an all time low. And there was a super fan named Bernie who would go in Lederhosen and I, I, I just go to baseball games a lot. And Big I, Brewers fan. Is yeah. he related to you? Uh, no, no. You but said the red hair. I imagine I'm probably a spitting image of him. Maybe, maybe not. So the story goes that to get more fans to come to the games, Bernie lived on top of the scoreboard until they reached like max capacity and when that finally happened they had to bring a slide in to get him off the scoreboard that's what the slide is for that's yeah, what the spe- slide is for yes i didn't know that, that well, i'm assuming right it's, wouldn't that make sense that does make sense yeah this is that that's fucking insane that story how like what do, people, <laughs> let's go to the baseball game to get that sad man down yeah, from like, the side. Is, like, is that like some kind of weird version of a hunger strike? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm going to live up here until this place is full, God damn it! I'm protesting the indifference to baseball. The world's Speaking most of people boring doing sport. naughty things in the wrong section, right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I regret telling that story. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, that's like fucking insane, and I don't believe a word of it. Uh, and so what like he just lived off of like ballpark food i don't know how long he was up there there's a lot of questions yeah because it sounded to me like they were real unpopular at the time and it didn't seem like it was going to happen like within a season like does he not <laughs> have a job how long did he live up there obviously he did not have a job uh, or actually i think it'd be even funnier if he just like telecommuted <laughs> <laughs> right yeah in the in the 60s yep Actually, uh, so literally phoned it in that <laughs> week that you guys went to Brewers. I think I texted you. Cause I texted you because uh, we were going to go to Michigan. To have you ever been to Union Pier? Anybody? I no. think I actually have been to Union Pier. Why do I? Why does that sound Dude, really familiar? It is, is that where the that's where the Coast Guard is based out there, right? I I don't know. I oh I, no, that's <laughs> actually a town called Coast Guard. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Not even kidding about that. But I think it's by there. I think it's uh, over on there. It's literally, like, right where, like, Michigan and Indiana meet. Okay. Yeah, on the, like, you know, by the lake. But anyways, um, I used to go there since I was a fucking kid. It was great. I loved it there because, dude, I remember, like, Chicago day camp. I used to go to day camp every year when I lived in Chicago. And every Friday you go to a different beach. And every Friday you get, you know, your legs cut on a different broken beer bottle at these (laughs) beaches because there's fucking garbage everywhere no no chicago Mm. beaches are beautiful yeah just don't swim in the water (laughs) (laughs) yeah so no you know you should go to flint michigan yeah oh no but um anyways so i so we would go to union pier and it was fucking awesome because all these it's weird it's like all that whole beach in that area is private but none of the, the rich people are there so people just go on their property there what and i've been doing it since i was little i didn't it's so weird and the best part is no lifeguard, clean as fuck. How the the best part? Oh, the best part. Best part. People <laughs> would drown there. No one would say well, a word. Well, well, no. It's funny. Like Kelly reminded me that, like, hey, you you remember when you saved that one guy's life? And my memory's so bad. I'm like, no, I don't. What? 
there was a guy um everybody tries to reach the sandbar and i guess there was like some old guy like flopping around and i thought he was drunk i'm like hey man you okay he's like yeah, i think i'm having a heart attack and i like swam him to shore like oh whatever let's get something to eat it's like it's <laughs> And I don't know if you saved that man's life if he was having a heart attack and you're just like, what? you're on shore now. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. All right. We don't want any involvement in this heart attack, so you can just stay ashore and we're going to get out of here. You know? <laughs> I'll just swim to the Wherever sandbar. this progresses is not our fucking fault. <laughs> right. But anyways, so we after the beach, we... Have you thought about becoming a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we, we go to this... Um, so uh, Kelly's sister is vegan, so she was trying to find like a place there that is like known to the area but also like where it's good vegan food. And we found this one place. I forgot what it was called. Like Buffalo, Buffalo Bills something. <laughs> but we go there. That sounds like a good vegan place. Yeah, right. right? Yeah, just tuck it in. <laughs> 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 Anyways, we go there and <laughs> literally, you know what was fucking, this is, <laughs> this is so, <laughs> tuck that asparagus in. <laughs> nice and juicy. But uh, goodbye. Anyway, um, we go there. And right when we show up, right when we fucking show up, this old lady comes out. Oh, you guys just missed it. And they put up this sign, death in the family closed for the rest of the week. I'm, I'm like, when the fuck did that ever happen? So we go across the street to, I guess it's supposed to be the best burger joint in that area called Redamax. Dude, like the best name. burger joint there is like the shittiest burger in Chicago. <laughs> it was so fucking bad. I ordered an Italian beef and, and it was like... It's like eating a dry pussy. Wait, hang on. Yeah, you go to the best burger joint and order an Italian beef and then bitch about it. Yeah, man. No, no, no. But uh, like, like, like Kelly had a burger. I forgot somebody. Um, her sister had a salad, like like a bean and corn salad, and it mm. was like all the all the lettuce was old and brown. the The burger tasted like some frozen patty shit. You know that like some like sometimes if it's you could, don't cook it, you, you know what I'm saying? It's like hexagonally shaped. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was just really fucking bad. A Bubba Burger, yeah, Bubba Burger exactly. Although that's I, I actually actually I've Bubba Burgers are great. I would say I actually love Bubba Burgers. I've gotten sick so many times of those. So Bubba Burger, if you're out there listening, please sponsor us. That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> and even Union Pier, this shitty burger joint, we want your advertising dollars. Red you know, Red Max, come on. You guys gotta. Get, you, that, that's what I love about Union. Is you can like camp there because none of the rich they own these huge fucking summer houses, but no. You're, one, you're just trespassing. <laughs> this is this is it the makes, whole story. It makes for great family memories. <laughs> <laughs> Are there signs everywhere like private beach? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no access, and you not just open have to public. Go there with your pinkies in the air, like yes, this is my show. You know. Do you kick other people off? Like, excuse me, this is my beach. Yeah, yeah. just <laughs> I would totally do that. Like I was saying earlier about the restaurant thing. About just walking in back doors of the restaurant. If you walk a certain way anywhere, the people think you belong. Sure. Well, I really well, want to test well, that theory. That's why that. I like that there's no lifeguard there, is because you can go whenever the fuck you could go there, drunk as fuck, swim at night. You could. Oh, oh my god, this is how people die. This is why <laughs> they have lifeguards. <laughs> Well, I, I, you could go wasted and swim in the ocean at night. Yeah, that's, that's right. a, or sorry, lake, whatever. <laughs> Tummy full of shitty Italian beef. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funniest thing I saw there was um, they had those people. I forgot what it's called when you fucking just stand on a surfboard with a paddle. You know, what I'm pa- talking about? paddle boarding. Is that what it is? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I can't believe that's boring. even a thing. Yeah, but boring. I mean, it sounds pretty boring. <laughs> yeah, right. They, they. Well, well, somebody um, they wanted to make a cute photo, so they let their dog, you know, adrift, on one of the, <laughs> and the dog just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my just god! Like, just like he's just sitting there nicely, and then he like touched the water, so he just kept going. Just kept going. <laughs> there's just this dog with a paddle. You maybe know, that. Forth. Maybe there's a reason that dog was trying to escape. Apparently, <laughs> apparently yeah. the owner was not. That was the, the plan the whole time. Yeah, right. Like, put me on the board. I'll be. <laughs> I'll be adorable to freedom. <laughs> Sending out an SOS. <laughs> <laughs> so we were gonna we were talking about the murder shack, which is how I think I met Rob the first time there. Yeah, right? I think so. What? It, uh, how did? So wait, th- does Zach know what the murder shack is? I doubt it. I feel like I've heard that mentioned, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. It, uh, it's quite a place. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> it sounds I, like I, it. I haven't <laughs> been there in a long time myself, but uh, at least years ago it was. Uh, Really, quite a place. 
All right. Not in a good way. So, well, I, d- it's called Murder Shack. <laughs> yeah, but. I didn't anticipate it, it being it a was great I mean, but if, if I knew of another place called Murder Shack, I would go because of the name. Like, I guess if it were like a bar, I'd go to, I'd go to oh, yeah. Murder Shack. Is yeah. this Harper. like an actual shack or is it a bar? No, it's, it was a house. Somebody's house. I did, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know the full story. Was it like, um, Ian's mom, like, moved to California and then she just le- left well, the no, house it, for him? It started be- with, uh, what from what I remember, like, because you know I I've known Ian, well, I went to high school with him. Yeah, yeah, way longer than me. And uh, it, it, even then, his mom was like never there because she was she worked for a airline. Oh, so okay. she was just like gone all the time. So it was just like him and his sister in this house. Yeah. And they you know it would basically do whatever you want in this place. Yeah. Which, you know, so it got kind of out of control and it was really yeah. dirty and really gross and just. That, that kind of sounds it, like Swarley Manor. You were at my place over off of it, Irving, right? Right? It looked mm-hmm. like a like a hoarder place. Like, their entire upstairs was just full of boxes of shit. Uh, and, like, the bathrooms. There was a bathroom upstairs and on the main floor that, like, neither of them actually worked. And it was just disgusting. <laughs> I didn't know about this. You told me about Our that. Our bathrooms were pretty That gross. she had a huge fucking bird. <laughs> yeah. For a long time, <laughs> his sister had this, like, this giant... Like it looked like a mutant cockatoo, alive, right? It was alive. Okay, <laughs> because you're talking about dead birds. <laughs> it, it, it had its uh, its feathers clipped, so it couldn't fly. Okay. But this thing, so this thing would sit. Was it in a cage? On top of the no. It what? Would sit the on top fuck? of the door in of the closet in the bathroom, and like <laughs> it would be real quiet most of the time until you were in the room with it, and it would just like. Make the loudest, most terrible fucking noise you ever heard. It seriously is kind of like, like if a if a horror movie monster had Down syndrome and screamed it, <laughs> was like just this terrible noise. And I I don't scare easy, but that thing I didn't want to walk near it. Like it was just terrifying. This You're just fucking freak probably mutant bird. Probably assisted in constipation. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Scare, <laughs> scaring the shit out of you. Well, you can't get any multitasking done in that sort of environment. <laughs> <laughs> God. You get, but but with all oh, with all the hoarding and all the stuff around, you got to admit they're attempting. You know, I'm gonna read a magazine and then I'm gonna put this dress on. And I'm gonna have this cockatoo perched on me while I'm jacking up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can add uh, some to the list. Different kind of multitasking. <laughs> The last time I was at the murder shack, I think they had like nine cats, and like oh they were just like. Although we took stray animals, so sure. I don't know if they like let the cats in. I think some they yeah, did, but that's, some they didn't. that's why it smelled so bad in there because no one ever cleaned anything, yeah. so it was just yeah. like. Well, I would never. I would avoid going in. Like, but they had like an outside like patio, kind of they like some like chairs. ours, like ours, the like rabbit hole. Did, the ba- did the you ever? Was actually pretty decent. That yeah, the backyard was cool with a fire pit. Yeah. And, so. But yeah, I mean, I, I, anytime anybody asks like what it's like, I always mention the movie Gummo, because it's totally like fucking yeah. Gummo. I definitely yeah okay. Like just wet, damp magazines. <laughs> yeah. Who did you? Who did you? And, get it, into and it doesn't it help. Smells like shit. Get into an uh, everything in the kitchen is moldy and disgusting. Oh, you don't yeah, want to open the fridge it, because it's it full of flies. Mag. You know. Yeah. You made There's always a random person though. ranting something because they're mm. tripping on something. Yeah. And then, and oh my god! Like I, I I always remember like the first time I the, went there, the wreck of a basement where it looks oh. like definitely looks like people had been murdered. Yeah, you told me about the rabbits. <laughs> I didn't know there was a rabbit nest. Yeah, in there. there had been <laughs> what? Like a, Jesus uh, Christ! Uh, I want to see uh, this. Either a, a or multiple rabbits that had been down there. Can but I? Like, is this at place one still point had died And we're just uh, still there. Oh, oh God. The, it, they're, the they're house nice. still exists. It's still there. Is Ian still, still there? Still, yeah. 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 Ian's, yeah I, I, I Is it still like, like that? I don't think yeah, it's yeah. as bad now. Uh, like I said, I haven't been there in a long time myself. So. No, they. They. I. I pretty. I, I remember the first time I went there, and this is how I <laughs> describe it to people is like. I remember going and there's like this fancy dinner table, and then there's two bags of. Really strong, dangerous fertilizer spilled all over the dinner table. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I remember, like, the last time I went there, it was still there after, like, four years. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> what? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> and then I remember l- how you were saying, like, 
the smell might have been coming from these flattened rabbits. You know, they make a nice they make a nice rug for the basement. No, but oh. you know, eventually they get nice and mossy and just like good good area to to grow some plants <laughs> or something. Man, or and loving memory. Bust out those beetles. Yeah, there yeah, we the, go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you great. can. That's where you can cook your bones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, See, it all comes full circle. I uh, oh, oh, oh man, I forgot what I was gonna say. Shit. While you were talking about the murder shack, Sandrew reminded of or reminded me of a party he threw at his former place, and he asked, Which "Was very murder shacky." Uh, yeah, uh, was uh, was that the one with the mattress room? Was that where I slept <laughs> that one St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So the bone zone. Is I don't remember. But yes, people uh, had sex in there. Sure, uh, perfect. Often, I did not. But oh well, there's always the next St. Patrick's Day. That house was a veritable opium den uh, <laughs> the good ones always are so i wound up one getting supremely blitzed like I, I was pretty lit yeah and which i know doesn't sound like me but you know it was st patrick's day so it was that was, that's right it was st patrick's day and i wound up striking up a conversation with this young woman and i i think it was nicole if that was nicole there? nicole there was there a lot so oh was, yeah that's right nicole hates you yeah she does <laughs> so yeah talking about me getting away with everything i guess i was saying so you did not get away with these <laughs> <laughs> she'll get over it uh, uh no so i shared uh what some people would probably deem like a racist joke and <laughs> she really really enjoyed it so i kept you going ross mode and going <laughs> oh yeah and by the end of it, apparently she was like really like ready to like tear my throat out. She and she gets like that too. She is an intense person. Sure. Well, I guess I can be too. When you are, and I've you wouldn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like at the urging of a few of us, Bill, like shut the fuck up. You're pissing her. Like she's getting mad. Like actually angry. No, but the thing is. <laughs> All right, it's called networking. <laughs> yeah. I work in real estate, and that's like it, it, it didn't network. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> your network is your net worth, and I take great pride in mine. Oh my god, oh, I should have told more racist jokes she, to Emily. I've made yeah, that would have done it. <laughs> I've I've made mention of you to her before, and she still gets like an annoyed look on her face and goes, "Is that the dude from your old place that told the racist jokes?" I was like, yeah, that's Bill. <laughs> Dude, I I remember what I was gonna say. I was gonna say at the murder shack when there was uh, I remember I don't I don't know what it, you said there was nine cats. I think I think I remember when I came there there was like there was I don't a lot know. of cats. Like yeah, and he had dead ones in the freezer. Well, no, I was gonna say there what? was a no, no. I remember it what? smelling bad, and and it was because one of them died in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, the dead cat in the wall. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? This is real. Yeah, yeah. And so. Oh God! I'm, one of the cats had died from eating on the kitchen table. <laughs> so. Bob, uh, Lord knows, <laughs> just God. God works in mysterious ways. But <laughs> the cat passed, and it was winter, so the ground was too hard to bury it. So he had it in a bag in the freezer <laughs> for when the oh. spring thaw came. Oh my God! He wasn't going to sell it to a Chinese restaurant. Well, I don't know. I don't know whatever became of the cat. Last yeah. resort, maybe. You know. Right. Yeah. So With respect of burial or Jeez. a little bit of moolah. So I guess don't oh. trust dinner parties at the murder shack. <laughs> <laughs> now that you know what's on the kitchen table. I, uh, and I remember I uh, so so you know we we know, we know Greg and okay so uh, my buddy Greg he was a roommate of mine. This is so weird. Greg. Uh, I don't know how to explain. He he seemed like the very like. Like a typical like engineer working class guy, you know, like very like like listen to Metallica, very serious, like get the fuck out of here. Like, Why like is the Metallica thing part just, of that? Just, just I don't know, no, no, just working very, class no, dude really loves is, Kirk Hammett. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, you, you, you know the I, guy. I that get I'm it though, like I, I, uh, I see that as being like a. Is it because Met- Metallica's uh, characteristic just, uh, sped up yeah. blues? Is that why? Yeah, yeah, I mean, so he, um, he, he like, um. For some reason, he is like always that serious, stern guy. Like, like sometimes silent, sometimes. Mm. But I know that when he'd get fucking wasted, he'd start making out with guys. <laughs> There's a few times he did, that. and and one time there was this one kid. I don't know if I should mention his name. 
No, I'm, I, uh, your brother. No, no, no. It wasn't him. No, no. There's this kid. We'll call him S. Okay. There's this kid named S. Okay. And he fucking he was that guy who's like he's like that bean counter when you're trying to say some fact and he's like, no, actually it was you, you know oh there was a hundred thousand people at this show. No, actually it was ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. He was like that guy who'd like shut the fuck up, but he would constantly correct you at every little thing, you know. Dude, I'm just, that dude. Just, 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 so S stands for Sandry. Yeah. So, so <laughs> one day, so it's me, fucking, it's New Year's, and everybody is going to Ian's room to like celebrate, and Greg is already like in his underwear, like trying to hug and kiss people, drunk <laughs> as fuck, and and this S guy is like just relaxing on the couch. And and that guy was pissed me off so much. Greg jumps on him and tries to make out with him. Everybody is in Ian's room, like Happy New Year. And I'm just like, All right, motherfucker, I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> 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 and he couldn't he couldn't get off of him. He's like UFC makeout. You know? Jesus, that sounds like sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it's funny. Sounds sometimes. like <laughs> the only other the other time too. I remember. Um, I, f- I forgot what I said, but Ian got into a fight with me, and we, like, beat the shit out of each other. I don't know. First, Ross tells me that, man, I can't believe you're going to his fucking house. You beat the shit out of him, and you still hang out there the next day. And and that's what he told me first. And Isn't then that what friends do? Yeah, right? I mean, and then, and then, I, and then I, like, go there the next day, and, I, and Ross like, I can't believe you're fucking hanging out. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, you guys got to fight, and you, and, like, I'm like, oh, when you said, like, did you say I beat his ass? He's like, who said you won? Why the fuck are we here? I'm like, I don't know, man. I guess that that's the way shit flows. That's the way she goes. Boys will be boys. I'm trying to think. Locker room talk. And I'm trying right. to think. Of, oh, I don't know if I should mention that trumpet story. Did I mention that before? I don't know. Okay, so. why Before you do, why, re, why are you hesitant to mention it? Because it's Cause pretty illegal. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's so not. Somebody, let, let's not. It's fine. It's fine. I, I'll, I'll say somebody. How long? How long ago was this? So like Is ten pa- years ago. Okay, so it's past the statute of limitations. <laughs> sure. So so okay, there was. <laughs> Okay, well, so that is a good thing to establish. So, you know. <laughs> Just for any investigator out there listening, <laughs> right. you can no longer prosecute. Yeah. We'll call this kid question mark. Okay, okay that's his name question. Your brother. <laughs> 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 no, this kid. This okay. So question mark was this super hippie like fish type fan. Just so, I, I I don't know how to explain, but he um he like would always do shit to try and be cool. So these like very like suburban wigger type kids come by and. He wanted to kiss their ass. Like I, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm a suburban gangster too. I'm suburban. So there was a fucking blackout for like a two mile radius. They broke into somewhere, somewhere where kids learn, and took the entire <laughs> music section, okay, and brought it to this house while everybody is like, "Where'd you getting drunk around candles?" And we're like, "What the fuck is this? <laughs> There's just random, like, okay, let's bring in the cymbal section. Now we're bringing the <laughs> snares, <laughs> the tubas, now we're bringing the trumpet. You know, what like, the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? Bill, were you there for this? No. Uh-oh. And and we ask him, we we ask, I'm like, what the fuck did you do? And he's like, oh well, well, no, we thought it was cool. We could like sell this stuff and make money and soup, soup this place up. I'm like, no, dude, every single thing has a fucking serial number on it. Like you're gonna completely get arrested. Why the fuck would you? He's like, well, well, I'll put it back. I'll put it back. I'm like, dude, it's already here. Just put it in the basement so Ian doesn't find out. And I remember there was like a few times they put like a Scott album on it and be like, everybody grab a trumpet. <laughs> 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 And then I, one of the funny things, I'm not going to mention names again, just to not get people mad, but somebody I knew that I was good friends with, he was, we'll, we'll, we'll call him exclamation point. <laughs> we we got to get better with these <laughs> names. He, he, uh, he, uh, he, so um, your brother. No, it wasn't, <laughs> no, but he, he was like that guy that everybody pulled crack jokes on and busted his balls. We, um, we told him to grab the tuba because he was super skinny and lanky and we didn't think he'd lift it. Well, before I took a shit in it. Oh, <laughs> so, so oh God! So so you know the the note wasn't quite right. It <laughs> <laughs> the, the brown note, yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, but um, yeah. Wait, did you say this was a good friend of yours? Yeah, this was a good friend of mine. Was that's what we do, was, man. Yeah, <laughs> Shit in their two bus. Boys will be boys. What did you do when you were younger? I don't know. I didn't start fires at school. I <laughs> like. <laughs> 
You, you weren't living. You had no parent. fun. I was so repressed. My God, I thought I was always a That's cool the kid. the Irishman in you. Is that right? Oh, I'm making up for lost time now. Yeah, yeah, ruining that's relationships that's with I beautiful women at parties. I, yes, that's I, I true. Don't, I don't think <laughs> I know any other crazy. Ooh, I don't did, have we ever have we ever talked about that phone call that I received from you? <laughs> phone call. Okay, so after JP's party, <laughs> there was this horrid bar hag <laughs> that that ended up kissing Bill. Yes, and it wasn't James Stack. No, and then okay. we went back and drank a bunch of whiskey at his apartment till like okay. four in the morning. Yeah. And he and I were both absolutely trashed that night. Yeah. Now, I get a phone call from him the next day going, hey, do you remember if I ever called Jess last night? (laughs) My girlfriend at the time. (laughs) To which which my response is is like, no, I'm the absolute wrong person to ask. I, like, have no recollection of the majority of that evening. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened. And he's like, okay. Because she's acting kind of weird, and I feel like I called her and told her that I kissed this girl outside the bar. Well, to be fair, she kissed me. She did kiss you. Oh, my God, that woman was... Apparently, she, she is so a you were sociologist. So, so you're a me, you're part of the Me Too movement? Uh, yeah, that, maybe. I'm not sure what that is, <laughs> but I'll say yes. Okay. I like being a part you're of You're not movements. sure what the Me Too movement is? No. Well, then you're part of the Me Hashtag. Three. Hashtag Me Too. Yeah. That, no, I'm I'm woke. Don't get me wrong, oh, but God. I'm asleep. But, uh, uh, in the library? Yeah, in a specific section. Yep. Anyway, so. Hundreds and biographies. So uh, I still don't know if I called her, but I'm pretty sure we spoke. And I'm pretty sure she broke up with me that night because she found out about my darling Susanna pecking me on the neck outside of the bar. Susanna, that was her name. But so for weeks, like I was still like texting her. And she was just asking, like, acting really distant. So I wasn't sure if we were still together. <laughs> and so I flat out asked her in text, like, hey, like, is something wrong? You're acting, like, really, really distant. And she says, yeah, I'm fine. I just need some time. And I was like, okay. Because I feel like that, that was a good invitation for her to say, like, we broke up. Like, we're not together. But no, so. Did you oh, ever get no. a, su- a yeah. solid answer? Yeah, I wound they up. have to be solid about it. Uh, it's Some. always on them. That's what I've heard. That's the rule. What's that? The girl has to be like, it's over. And then it's finally over. Maybe. Actually, it's even t- then sometimes. Yeah. It's it 2018. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's over. Yeah. They'll come back. Or, well, 2018 with like everything. You, you probably need some papers signed. <laughs> right. You know? So, uh, like, I wound up calling her like two weeks later and like we're just talking. And I was like, hey, like, weird question. Like, are we still going out? And she's like, what do you mean? And I was like, are we like still together? And she's like, well, kind of. I was like, did, did you <laughs> did you break up with me? And she was like, well, you know, like I like I had to keep asking her. And finally, yeah. she was like, yes, I broke up with you. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, peace, bye. Was she just like, was she just like fucking? N- did she Never regret it and knew that you were like blackout drunk? No, she like- had no idea. She had no idea I was blackout drunk. How did she have no idea you were you were so drunk that night? I- I don't know. You could. You start being mean when you're drunk, Bill. That I <laughs> sometimes could, I do. You could have. There, there's no way she couldn't have told over a phone call that you were wasted. Yeah, at four thirty in the morning, like after JP's birthday party, like yeah, nope, zone sober. But <laughs> <laughs> she was probably drunk. Probably. Anyway, we had a lot in common. No, I didn't so uh, the transition to all these assaults, you know. <laughs> no, I, I, I gotta, I gotta mention this. Um, I want to know. I, I really want to know what you guys think of this, and I, the, I'm, I'm hoping there'll be some comedy out of this, even though it's a serious. <laughs> oh topic. no! Oh, God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, no. Okay. So, have any of you heard of the Orwells? Oh, I, I've just been hearing about all this. Right? Yeah. That's been all over the place. No. All over the fucking place. So, there's a different. Um, I have a bias about the story, but the story is that this band called the Orwells, they're from Elmhurst. They're kind of like uh, garage rock. Um, they got fucking huge. They they came from Elmhurst. They they were they were playing all over the fucking world. They were on Letterman. And um, no. apparently all these people were saying, like all these local bands and everybody were saying that like they're huge fucking dicks. The singer like beats people up and shit. And the biggest issue was that they were fucking a shitload of underage girls. And mm. um, actually... So suddenly now, 
Like I just want to. Uh, <laughs> They're banned from the children's section <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. To be clear here, uh, there was no fucking kids. All right, I don't. No fucking pedophilia. You watch no. me if you want your library card. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, this is such a mistake to fucking <laughs> share this fucking sorry. No, but, and any anyways, so what 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 upset me is that like, so I just go online and uh, probably like you, you just hear about this shit everywhere, yeah. and then like this person. Well, I mean, they're like they're like blacklisted now from everything. Like, yeah, I mean it's on every music and DIY page and everything. Like. Yeah, yeah, and 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 what bothered me is like people posted like. Here's the evidence, and it's literally the same type of Google document that I would make for like the the you know structure of this show. So I mean, I could go on there and be like Domino Sandry, yeah, blue grass more like blue rapes me in the ass, Sandry. You know, really out of blue, you couldn't get a better joke. I like. I, I think I think that should be your new tagline. That's pretty good. What like. Blue, blue rapes yeah. me in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, hey, I'm blue. Domino. I'm Dude, the blue I'm, rapes in I'm the not, ass I'm not musician. Good at jokes. But I'm just, I'm just saying that, like, it's all like I'll pluck your g-string. That's l- like, a, and then the next day that they put, like, like, well, no, it wasn't next day. It was like within three hours. They put on their page, we have disbanded. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, man. Like, I think it's pretty obvious because because I've I've heard this from Neil deGrasse Tyson, the science guru. That it is impossible uh, for did he, he, did he teach at a Canadian high school? No, no, he's he, you, you never <laughs> heard of him? He's the guy on the Cosmos show, the the black no, guy. I, Degrassi. Oh, okay. <laughs> he and Drake are friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, so no, this guy said he he's like he's like you know the, the only way you can keep a secret between two people is by one of them killing the other because everybody spread. So I'm thinking like there's no fucking way that like. 70 fucking people can make this document and these allegations and just completely constantly lie that they screwed underage girls and shit. And I'm just like, I don't Some know, man. Some shit probably happened. I, I I just can't believe that shit, like, I don't know. How quick that got it's shut a, down. It, and it's a lot. That's a lot of people to just flat out lie about something that yeah. serious. Like, I get that some people lie sometimes, but that's like... 70 fucking people saying the same shit about the same yeah. people sounds pretty credible to me. Yeah. See my see my bias was when I was playing in my band and like in the whole psych scene and garage rock band scene. It's like as soon as you fucking made it, everybody hated you. You know well, what I mean? Well, that's that's like that in every Yes, yeah. I know because I th- I I know. Yeah, yeah. It's like that it. in any <laughs> performance scene. Like You hate everyone. <laughs> you do. You hate comedians <laughs> fucking hate everybody. Oh yeah. And I know, I know, I talk some mad shit about musicians. Oh yeah, so I try so, not to. I try not to, but I, it's, it fucking happens because some people aren't good and they get recognition. Sure, but well, that well that that's what I thought happened with that. And I don't know. I always play fucking devil's advocate because I, I don't know when, I don't know what it is when somebody's hated, that interests the fuck out of me because I'm thinking like. You what? should you should have been at the uh, brewery when Bill walked into a wall. Then <laughs> there was a lot, there was of, a hate lot of hate well, directed well, no, towards I, this well, guy. Well, no, I'm saying you know when somebody is loved, they're like or praised. They're putting effort into being loved and praised, and they know what they're doing. When somebody's hated, they don't really like. They're just you don't really know why they're hate or they, or they don't really have control over why they're. So it makes me interested in that and in that like perception. That's why hmm. like and that's like okay. So for example, the first thing I thought of with the Orwell's thing is like, dude. I don't know if this is fucked up, but first of all, age of consent varies from state to state. And like the oldest chick in there was like Yeah, 16. but when you have to start using no, the that excuse, <laughs> there's usually a problem. Yeah, like, yeah. hey, listen, in Alabama it's 14, so I'm cool. Yeah. We I were, think, we I were think across it's crazy state lines. that there's something like that, but then people are like, dude, Chuck Berry was fucking awesome, you know. You, I mean, you know about him. No. Chuck Berry, I heard some allegations. Yeah, no, about he, Chuck no, he Berry he married his, his, shit. He yeah. married a chick when she was 13. And then skip town until she was like legal <laughs> age. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> well, that goes back to even stuff like like Dr. Seuss. You know, Dr. Seuss was like a huge piece of shit. Oh, was I he? Heard he about was that. just good at writing children's books. Yeah, yeah. What yeah, you, like, I've heard that he, too. He cheated on his wife who had cancer for like 13 years, and he was cheating on her the whole time, and didn't like say anything about it until she died, and then he was like. He married his mistress, and it was like really fucking weird. Wow, uh, fucking uh, uh, 
Who was it? What the fuck? Oh, you know, Mother you, Teresa. You fall was a piece into of shit, uh, too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mother, blood, Ter- right? Mother Teresa, yeah. one of the big things with her is uh, when she was helping, I think she was in Africa, when she was like helping kids in Africa. One of the weird belief things that was like with her, her strict version of whatever, she, you know, whatever sect of Christianity she was from, I don't remember. Um, she, oh, she had to have been Catholic because she's a saint, mm-hmm. right? Okay. I would um, think didn't believe in certain uses of medi- of certain medicines. So these kids that were getting sick, she would deny them the proper medical care because it wasn't it wasn't like within the rules of her religion. And then when she got sick, she took the same care. Huh. So like she she gets praised, you know, like not, not trying to necessarily drag her name in the mud, but she was kind of a piece of shit just like the rest of them. Yeah. And I've heard that about Gandhi too. That Gandhi yeah. was kind of a cunt. I mean, like Underage sex slaves. Yeah, we like, no shit. wonder you can have enlightenment with all this fucking. Yeah, there's a, definitely heard some shit about orgies with him. Uh, he was a Hitler supporter, but that I don't know about that because a lot of people were Hitler supporters before they knew yeah. exactly what Hitler I mean, was all no, about. You heard about like how this government, like before, there was like the third, you know, the Third Reichs. Like, like in the first war, it was like what they just wanted to get rid of communism, and then, and then the second war, they wanted to spread Nazism. So in the first war, before like, uh, before Nazis became a threat to U.S., they just donated a shitload of Ford cars to to the Nazis. Interesting. <laughs> they did. No, I this didn't know is that. proven. I've saw that. Um, I I seen it in like various documentaries, but they. they I also they, know that Ireland was real ambiguous about which side they were on. Bill. Well, I mean, <laughs> as a superpower, and our love to Ireland, right? <laughs> that yeah, to our special <laughs> Irish fans out there, uh, <laughs> let's let's get some answers. Are, are yeah, please please write in, comment, uh, tell us your your political idealisms. Yeah, only relating to World War Two. What right do and you the have talking powers. about me and my Irish friends, you bullies? Right. That's exactly That's right. The email you're gonna get. So wait, did you have a question or an idea about the Orwells? Oh yeah. So speak. Okay. So uh, just to get it straight, I I know they're fucking assholes. I know they're because because despite the sex allegations, have you ever have you ever been around like uh, venues with them or anything? I I haven't. But they just first they got their show canceled at the Metro because they're they're gonna have like a huge like home show, mm-hmm. and then it got fucking canceled. And I you know and I'm if super, they got if they got blacklisted that fast, they people must have known about. Oh this yeah, before. no no no. They have shit on video where like the singer was. So there'd be like all really young girls in the front and be pouring honey on them and then making out with them. And then song later, when it gets intense, he's swinging the mic around and hit one of them in the face <laughs> that it broke her nose. Oh, shit. So he, they're definitely assholes and they definitely fucked up. But I'm just saying like if somebody wanted to, like they just don't like you, they could totally make a fucking Google Docs. And then just have a whole bunch of people like, no, this guy's an. Ass- yeah, but not. But it wouldn't like, have you consequences like that. Like, yeah, you're right. We're you're in an age where where we need to look more seriously yeah, all, at allegations. All it takes is one but, paragraph on a Wikipedia page. Yeah, but there there still is a fair amount of due process that goes into this, and and most of these guys who end up getting like straight blacklisted, all a lot of that stuff ends up coming out as true. Like, it's been pretty rare that. that that these sorts of allegations have been proved like false, especially when there's more than one of them. Yeah, like Chris Hardwick is the only one that I can really think of that that like they s- investigated and said was bullshit. But well, th- didn't that shit happen with Aziz and sorry? No, sort of. He was got like- crucified for something that was not the same thing. And actually, a lot of in in the defense of the Me Too movement, a lot of people within that. Uh, didn't like how they had handled that either. Essentially, he was just kind of fucking rude. He was just kind of a dick on a date. Well, no, didn't he... Well, f- do you guys know what happened? I yeah, he asked her to suck his dick. No, no, it was... I think he asked her if he can eat her out. And she was kind of playing flirtatiously, like, oh, maybe, I don't know, what do you think? Like, so he thought she was like... he was like, She was like egging him on, kind of like trying to be sexy, like, oh, I don't know. I'm going to be a bad girl if you do this. And then he ate her out. And then, like, she, she tried suing him or something. And then, and then she actually admitted that it was wrong. I think that's no, that's there, how I remember. Wh- from, what I, from what I read about it, it was she was trying to argue that there was, like, sexual coercion and that, like, mm. 
like he pressured her into sex. But really, when it all when it all was said and done, it sounded just like it was a bad fucking date, and he was kind of an asshole. Yeah, and she didn't like make it very clear it was kind of ambiguous yeah. which i mean like enthusiastic consent is the thing and i get that but also it's not the, they they buried him like like he was fucking bill cosby like he there was a lot of people who who put a lot of hate on him very quickly and then a lot of yeah. people immediately and, went and oh no we fucked up this isn't the same thing well, we well, can't that, well that's we delegitimize I'm... ourselves by making these things the like feel the same but. Well, well that's that's what i'm seeing about like the false alley like you could have a novel list of allegations say against you yeah. and then everybody hears about it that oh man this guy's a fucking offender in the children's section in the library <laughs> <laughs> but this no, wasn't no, god no, damn it no 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 uh, no, but no, this but was, no this wasn't a false <laughs> allegation yeah, 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 yeah no but, but, but i'm saying that that say it's a false allegation and then that news fucking spreads and then suddenly they're like no everybody was lying but it doesn't fucking matter because as time moves on, the only thing they remember is that f- is the allegations. Well, it like you, ruins your reputation. You've heard no publicity is bad publicity. Aziz Ansari's doing fine. Chris Hardwick oh, okay. is back on is back on the Talking Dead. Um, there's been talks that Louis C.K. is going to get another show. <laughs> I heard I, about that. I, I heard oh, that. Sure. In the, I completely in the support him. That's just me, though. I don't know how you guys feel about. I don't know how I feel. I actually don't. Re- I don't know how I feel about any of that. The I I would rather game. not comment. Yeah, on, I don't even on really any know that much about that. Uh, oh, he some well, weird sex stuff. Yeah, well, well, like first of all, there's like a shitload of sex in in the comedian culture. I guess because they go touring and everybody fucks each other and does coke. So, Sounds like there's a shit ton of like deviant shit and yeah. se- and like a lot of seemingly sexual assault <laughs> it's, in the it comedian basically world. Basically, just sounds like the rock and roll scene, any too. Like. Except yeah. for for whatever I, reason, the rock say, and roll scene, no one gives it. Like no one seems to no one seems to accuse those guys as much as like they do comedians. Yeah, I think probably because comedians fucking talk about it. Yeah, right. <laughs> as, so, as horrible as that sounds, they just can't keep a secret. Right? Well, no. So, what ha- he were they friends of his? They were fellow friend comedians. Two girls. And he took uh, them to a hotel room, and then he just he asked them to but, stand there while he jagged off. Yeah, but this wasn't the uh, like. There's more. There's a lot more. Oh, there was more. Yeah, that he that this was like he was known for doing this sort of thing, and there was no like real consent ever given for him to do that. And I know Tignataro talked a lot about it because she was she had been like involved in some of it. Yeah. But I'm yeah, just saying, like it was he, that, what he did was fucked up. <laughs> if it was that one situation, though, I I don't I think I, I disagree. Like I think it was just like, why didn't you? It, it's like that movie Split. Why didn't you just leave the fucking room? Like, I mean, you could leave the room, but the fact that he did it at all is kind of fucked up. Not yeah, to mention again with the with like coercion and stuff. Like Lucy K is a big fucking name. Yeah. He's not the person. He's not the person that you want to you know have on the wrong side of you especially in such a competitive uh, well also if you well what if you look at it on the flip side where you want to sue him because he is famous because the, because i they, don't know if any as far as i know i don't know if there are any lawsuits involving this no weren't they, they weren't they suing him for like uh i didn't know that there was any i mean maybe i'm maybe i'm just not informed i don't remember anything about lawsuits or no, no i no, know they, that he was certainly no no accused. no it doesn't it work like where they try and accuse you and then you the, you reach a settlement so that if it doesn't fucking go out like I guess I I don't know I think your view on it I think I think your view on it's a little like more cynical than mine is I don't think a lot of I don't think a lot of people are going out there trying to you know lie about it it does happen like uh, what happened to um uh Kane from the Blackhawks uh player yeah he he w- that happened to him where where he was accused of raping a girl and then the, an investigation said that she was lying like so it does happen but it's really really rare and coincidentally right when he's fucking huge you know yeah but yeah yeah no i i i, I the, the one thing i can say that i guess goes against my view is that like the thing that sucks is like you can't put yourself in a woman's shoes cuz women like like this is just the truth women tend to be more emotional whether it's emotional or hormones like because i try to think like if i was a man you fucking if if some like should I take I, the shovel from him, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? What's yeah. wrong? Nah, dude. No, keep going. What? No. What did I say? That some very sexist stuff. Yeah. Is but it sexist? Yeah. Yeah. You you don't think people would agree? I know What's people would not agree. Yeah. Most okay. likely like women. Okay. Well then, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it's I, a it's a what, dangerous my generalization. Point, my point is that, uh, that if some fat ugly monster woman was. <laughs> <telling> <laughs> 
t- t- <laughs> oh no, no, God. no, because <laughs> no, we just because, gave him a no, bigger shovel. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no be, because I'm comparing it to somebody like Louis C.K. This bald, fucking nasty ass cottage cheese skin spotted. Dude, I know, I know a woman off. like that. She lives on my block, and she is fucking mean. So, well, no. So <laughs> I'm saying, so if a woman like that, je- like masturbated in front of you, I'd be like, "Wow, that's." fucking nasty and start laughing you know like i wouldn't be like i'm so traumatized i mean i now, think the culture is a and, little and bit that's different. that's what i meant the difference between like women and men They're, i mean can you agree on that no i mean yeah, we there, it'd be a lie not to acknowledge differences between I, women and I, men the emotional thing is where i is where i draw the line e- okay maybe that's the wrong word uh, but but i mean like i think if i, I were I, victimized I, by a woman i'd still be pretty upset about it i don't think that happens as often yeah I'm talking about that specific situation. Somebody just masturbating in front of you. you know? It could be pretty bothersome to people. I yeah, would yeah. not be a fan of that. I don't know if Al- I'd sue her. But in uh, Chicago, that happens all the time. Yeah, right? Yeah, never going back to that library, that children's section. <laughs> <laughs> Was it, all right, now that this has morphed into me masturbating in the fucking library, that's <laughs> no, not no, what no, happened. In the kids' section. Let's <laughs> it was the biography section, okay? <laughs> Uh, so, which of the kids' books should I avoid taking out of the library? The Dr. Seuss ones, because he was she a terrible was person. That is not wheat paste. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> she was doing the one those like cardboard books. What? When I went down there, she was shelving like cardboard books, the ones that only have like six pages. The thicker. Sticky Cheese Man. No, not the stinky <laughs> cheese van. Although, what a great book to to fool around in I front of. The book was scratch and sniff. <laughs> oh God! No, okay, come on. I like it. There was no exposure. There, I, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> uh, we have fun here, don't oh, we? Oh God! I hope no one okay, listens. I, to this. But, okay, but I, I gotta apologize. I was just trying. I apologize if I said emotional. I don't. I don't know. You, you guys try to save me here. I'm fucking dying. All right, I understand. <laughs> I understand what, the what, cultural the differences. Well, the cultural difference, but uh, and the difference in power dynamic that makes it more, you know, disturbing for a man to do it yeah. to a woman than a woman to do it to like a man. If, if but a, it's still this. It's still on the same scale. Like I would totally women, understand if yeah. someone was also upset for really a woman doing it too. too. Maybe not necessarily. Yeah, I was say like a woman, but like. Because I know a lot of women that would handle it exactly like, you know, like you said. They would just, just be like, oh, that's fucking gross. Get the yeah, hell out so of here. I have friends who just who would think that was just straight funny. Girl, yeah, girls exactly. who would think that was funny. But also, we're fucking callous people. <laughs> right. I don't know yeah. if you listen to the shit that, that we're saying. Like, it would take a lot, I think, to bother any of us. So our perspective on this is kind of fucking moot. If, I, if Louis C.K. masturbated on me, I'd just be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> That you also got to think about, like what circumstances is this yeah. be your next special? I want royalties. <laughs> 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 no, so uh, were these like up and coming comedians? Were they like maybe on the same show as him? Could he yeah. help their career? So yeah, that's really like not good situation. Yeah. To that yeah. end, Tignataro was uh, working with him at the time. Oh, you know what? I know what you mean about saying that it was numerous times because he did do it all the time. Yeah. And I think that's why it happened for a while and comedians were just like, yeah, that's fucking Louis. That's, that's classic yeah, it was Louis. From, yeah, when it all came out, it sounded like, pe- like people had known for a long time that he was doing this shit. Yeah. Like it was just, it was something they like spoken about. I was that it was in the news then because it was like a... People be, well, people were like, it, I guess it had just been one of those things where they're just like, he, you know... There's this uh, there's That's this weird, weird thing, thing about that he does. yeah there's this weird thing about artists that for some reason tell you what, society you allows them to do crazy deviant things as a, because like it's okay to be quirky and fucked up if you're an artist like it's because there, I don't know what it is there's this glorification of the well, brokenness of art man, that's like probably three fourths of the punk scene you know well, it's all it's all over all it's all over punk bands do or yeah. you know specific people in uh, punk singers certain like i mean shit to take like gg allen just as an example did any number of weird horrible shit yeah and people fucking praise him you know there's also a lot of people that definitely do not but yeah for that reason know, yeah. he's got like an entire following because he was like that yeah and and i get it because that's uh that's what a lot of artists do is they try and push you know push the norms and be deviant but at this point like stuff like that it, it's just i think 
the there's been a paradigm shift in what is acceptable now. Like yeah. before, like some of the sex stuff would be like, oh, he's kind of deviant with that shit, but he's a you know he's an artist. It's part yeah. of you know it's part of his shtick. Or like that's a, that's you know the kind of fucked up mind that his art comes from, and they just kind of let it slide. And I think now, just like so, particularly with uh, with sex stuff, it's just not gonna fly anymore. I think I think if I think that there's gonna be a law where you like have to give a consent form before you do. So so that's the only thing that's gonna. Change. No, and I, I think I, think, I you, think that paranoia is unfounded. I think it. I it's not that fucking. I don't have any problems. I I have sex. Yeah. Just like a normal fucking person. Sure, all up and oh. down the library. <laughs> <laughs> Just That's storage room. Yeah, really say, all of you now know <laughs> my sexual habits, but... <laughs> God, God damn it. So he but no, like, it. I, I have sex in this day and age, and I don't seem to ever come across this problem that people see, keep you know, talking about. I don't seem to have a problem getting somebody to be like, yes, I'll have sex with you. I don't know where this uh, where this problem of of, uh, of not being able to get consent is coming from. It's not hard, and it's generally a yes. If you're at the point where you think you're gonna have sex with somebody, well, if, well I mean, because um, you're probably, I mean, are, are you going out with someone that you know for a while? Not always. Not not always, but I mean, do you, is it like in your circle of friends? Not always. Okay, because I know like I've met a lot of fucked up girls that i went out with on okay cupid where it was like oh god you don't you don't know what's gonna happen you don't know if they're cool. like like you don't know what the vibes are you know what i mean i know that's uh, that's what i'm saying is just get make sure I but they're I, I'm, not, I'm not <laughs> saying that like th- i that just justifies my thinking i'm just saying that maybe it's a different situation if you meet them you know if you meet them on the street then it's like you sort of mingle and you get to a like comfortable safe space if you're just online hey I don't know. I like toast. Want to meet up? You I don't know. know. I've you know, like <laughs> that's I've a good line. I'm going to use that. <laughs> use the, I've used like Tinder for that stuff, and I've never really seen that much of a difference. I yeah. just don't like. I don't see this. Uh, I don't, I don't th- see this like grand paranoia that well, these, that a lot of these men have that like somehow now you can't talk to anyone or be yourself. Like yeah. I still make fucking gross ass jokes in front of girls, and none of them look at you know. None of them fucking go you pig. Well, sometimes they do, but <laughs> usually laughing. But. Um, I get that Quite sometimes enough. I don't make gross ass jokes. Who are you hanging out with? Fuck those guys. <laughs> That's not even who I'm hanging out with. It's, you know, just people that happen to be around wherever I am. I also tend to <laughs> have a real filter when I talk anywhere. Yeah, that's a that's and a problem. That, that that becomes I don't know what that's like. Yeah, Bill. I, you have I can come lead. across as being pretty gross and like, you know. Oh, yeah. Some of the, I mean, I get some of the shit that comes out of no, my mouth sometimes is offensive and sometimes I need to be called the fuck out on it but no, like no, I'm I saying agree. I didn't seem to have to alter my behavior and there's no one out there accusing me of raping them yeah so. I, I mean I, I agree like the paranoia thing is so fucking stupid it's just yeah. pure par- internet gives everyone paranoia and it doesn't maybe that's shit. part of it May I don't I don't go on the yeah. internet very often I just, I don't I'm just Reddit saying, thing or anything I'm, I'm just saying like compared to like so like you're saying, you you meet somebody at a bar and you mingle. And what my point is, like you meet somebody there, or you meet them at a restaurant, or you meet them at a show. You see them like, are they getting fucked up? Is this okay? Because they are fucked up. You don't really know what's going to happen if somebody just shows up from. Okay, know, let online. me. All right, I think you have a misconception. I don't just like hit up a girl and be like, "Yo, come over so we can fuck." Like I smash I, I, question mark. Yeah, say, you guys de- don't do generally that? I take people out on dates and then we fuck afterwards. It's not like I'm not just no, they're not I'm, hookers. But, no, no, but I'm saying you don't know what Uber happened friends. before and after. You, you don't know what happened before and after as far as like intoxication and whether like you know like how people say don't do that shit, don't fuck anymore with anybody if you know they're intoxicated. Because you don't you don't know what'll happen. You know. But the, okay, there's a the, but there's also discretionary levels to that. Just don't be a piece of shit. If she's slurring her words and can't walk, don't have sex with her. But I've been out. Maybe you know, she has but, a disability. No. Nah, so. Okay, <laughs> then there's a whole <laughs> other amount of questions you need to be asking. <laughs> but hey, man. Hey, maybe that's what I I'm into. Four toes. I can't walk a straight line. It looks like I'm drunk all the time. Yeah, man. And I walk into walls pretty regularly. So don't take Rob to the children's section. Yeah. <laughs> I can take myself there, thank you. <laughs> God. <laughs> the stinky <sighs> cheese, man. Is that a book? <laughs> no, that's my nickname. No. 
<laughs> yes, it's a, yeah, it's a book. That, no, that's his nickname in the what the D- DuPage skeleton. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the DuPage. Hey, it's the stinky cheese man. <coughs> oh man, I'm sorry. I went down this rabbit hole and just completely <laughs> offended everyone. <laughs> No, no, no! Just the women no, and the, the, women. the feminists. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a good thing to talk about. It's a safe space here. Yeah. Oh my god! What? I'm I'm not gen- Lindsay's texting like blowing up my phone with just because she wants attention. Literally, her last text said, "Pay attention to me." <laughs> At least she's being blatant about it. Now you're that. offending the women. Yeah. <laughs> I should. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> do not show her this podcast. She would have a <laughs> fucking fit. She's very about the PC culture to like to a fault. Yeah. You should give her a business card. Oh my! You God, have five I of them. Would, I, never. I try. I, to this. Well, once like reps, I like I don't have a filter, and I'm just trying to have a good time and be funny. I don't know that. I actually got a really bad situation for for just running my mouth, and um, uh, no, you, I, I'm not even gonna mention that. All right. I'm not, no, no, that's no good. Are you sure? Yeah. No good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. See, can you can you? Uh, blot out her name, by the way. It's not about the name. No, it's, it's, no <laughs> <good>. it's <laughs> too far, man. Uh, yeah, sorry. Do you know how much editing is required? A fucking uh, noise over <laughs> <laughs> over what I said. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what we can do in post production. Post. Anyway, we're kind of winding down here. Do you want to want to call it a wrap? Want to take a break? Hold on. I'm I'm gonna try. I want to find Dan Cummins on Spotify because right. I have internet now. Try Wait, again. now you have internet? You didn't before? No. Oh, so I am on Spotify. <laughs> I forgot that that's what I was searching for <laughs> initially. <laughs> so what's what's going on? What's uh nothing new in anybody's lives? No. Nah, dude. Same shit. Different day. Chilling with my main man, Rob. Rob, what do you think of the podcast? Are you a lifelong listener now? <laughs> I like it. I uh, you know, I I hope to hear the other ones one day. They're they're on Spotify. They're on YouTube. They're on well, now iTunes. I know it's on Spotify. I'm definitely gonna. I found the song. All right, can we listen to it? Is that a copyright violation? We're giving him credit. Dan Cummins, his hit song, See all songs. Darkness. It seems to be I the only. We, we should probably take a break or anything. All right, all right. Phil doesn't want to. Can I there. can I put us out with a, a little bit of uh, darkness? We don't have a choice to. <laughs> <laughs> no, you totally don't. <laughs> You're going to use this as, like, the garbage dump scheme in my house. Right. <laughs> it's just going to come on. So can I leave? <laughs> I want. I got to get to his singing because I can't tell. It kind of sounded like, in the car, it kind of sounded like Dan Cummins. It has to be. This sounds like an updated version of the Power Rangers theme. Dude, it's... This actually sounds much better than I... Than a, oh, no, it's just vocals that were bad. It's shred-tastic. This is fucking intro. <laughs> Did you play the intro? Is this the karaoke version? Uh, I, I hope not. Sing it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna talk are over we, this. Are we the, no, I'm just. No, let it play. It'll play out. I just wanna do a quick. Thank you message to everyone out there listening, watching us. We are available on Spotify, iTunes, Podbean, YouTube, and wherever popular or unpopular podcasts are carried. You can reach out to us anytime. Our email is hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing at Gmail. That's the name of the podcast without the G's. So we are on y- iTunes and Spotify. iTunes and Spotify and YouTube. And we're also on Spotify and <laughs> iTunes. And it- and Spotify. And, and, iTunes. and iTunes as well, yeah. yeah. And Spotify. You can also find my main man, Dan Cummins, on here. That's with, uh, right. His album, Leviathan, dropped in a, a while ago. <laughs> good, good, uh, you know, good music for when you get, get the right moment with the candles in the library section. That's <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Have a good night, folks. All right. Take care. See you next time. <laughs> Es nest nam heitens